You can simply ask your AI agent to process all your voice memos. It will automatically transcribe your memos into words and refine it into structured Obsidian notes with titles, summaries, and even note tags attached. Hi, Tony here. I build AI agents for my clients. But in this channel, I'd like to explore how we can use AI agents to boost up our daily life. If you, like me, love writing, thinking, and creating, you've probably felt this too. Sitting in front of a screen does not bring you great ideas. I find myself more likely to have a great idea when my brain is relaxed, for example, when I was walking or taking a shower. But when inspiration comes, there's no keyboard for me to type. On the other hand, voice memo is a great alternative. You can start speaking with the press of a button. You can record anything, new project ideas, frustrations, reflections, or your opinions about any topics. These recordings are even more valuable now. You can use this as a background information to have a meaningful discussion with your AI. However, managing them is kind of a nightmare. The transcripts cannot be auto-imported to my Obsidian Note system. And the content is raw and messy. It's not friendly for reading and review. You don't have a clear title or a tag. It will be very difficult to manage in a file system. Yes, there are some solutions on the market to help you to complete the record, transcript, and note pipeline. But there are some downsides. The first is the data security. Those third-party solutions will send your voice memo to an AI provider. Why not directly use AI provider service? It's all available on the market. The second is price. Um, I believe all of you have already got an AI subscription. It has already cost me a lot of money. I don't want to add another subscription. It cost me like $10 each month for such a simple thing. The third reason is definitely the customizability. I would like my transcript to fit my file management system, not the other way around. So I wrote my AI application to automate the task six months ago. Although I like to share it out, but it's not user-friendly for non-coders. Then recently, Cloud Code had a major upgrade on the AI agent skills. It basically allows your AI agent to learn my AI agent skills by simply downloading it. Sounds like what happened in Matrix, isn't it? So you don't need to learn Python. Your AI agent will do it for you. It sounds like the beginning of a new era. You should definitely try it out yourself. OK, this is an example of CDN Vault. What we need to do is to prepare two new folders. One is for the raw transcripts of the Moist memo. And another one is the uh, refined Obsidian notes from our raw transcript. All right, uh, once it is ready, uh, we can use Visual Studio to open it up. OK, the next step is to download the agent skill package from our community. You can simply find the post and uh, click the zip file. You can unpack the zip file. And we will have a new folder called Voice Memo Agent Skills. It includes .cloud. This is an agent skill folder. And node property. Uh, this actually tells your agent how to tag your Voice Memo. All right, the last one is the .env file. This is an example. This is the place where you save your OpenAI API key. All right, let's rename it as .env and save your OpenAI key here. All right, once you've done, the basic setting is ready. Your Obsidian folder structure on the Visual Studio should look like this. OK, now we have all the file folders prepared. Let's dig a little bit deeper. In the .cloud folder, it includes all the prompt instructions for your AI agent. The first one is the prep agent skill command. It is actually the command to ask your cloud AI agent to examine your computer environment to check if it is ready. If not, it will help you fix it. All right, let's drill down to skills. Uh, apparently, we got two skills. The first one is the uh, voice memo process, and another one is refined memo for Obsidian. Uh, if you open the voice memo process, you will find it includes a skill markdown file and a script. The skill markdown file is the instruction. And the script will be the tool of your AI agent to process all your voice memo. OK, compared with the second one, it does not have a script. It only has a skill markdown file to instruct your AI agent of how to get things done. OK, now we have the basic understanding of the structure. Let's have a look at the configurations you need to set up before your agent start running. You may have a close look at it. Um, 
But the one configuration file you need to care about is this config.yaml file. Um, it will actually control how the program works. To find it, it's really simple. Just uh, press Command and click. I did ask my AI agent to prepare a detailed instruction, which is the green text here. So um, let's have a look at it. You will find the transcription model. Um, in our case, it is GPT-4.0 transcribe. And you need to set up your uh, native language so the model will process it in a more accurate manner. And you can leave the temperature as it is. All right, um, let's have a look at the source. OK, the voice memo directory is where your voice memo is saved. Um, since I use iPhone, voice memo, and MacBook, this is the default directory. OK, the next one you must have it prepared is the output directory, where your transcribe will save. Um, in the Visual Studio, it is really simple. You just right-click target folder and click Copy Path. And you will save your absolute file paths to the configuration. The remainings are all the basic setups, and uh, uh, including a database and a safeguard. Let's have a look at the refined memo for Obsidian. There are a um, couple of file paths for you to update. This is the one we instruct Cloud Code to update your transcript into Obsidian style notes. There are three file paths you need to update. It is where your transcript was saved and uh, where you want your transcript to be saved. And the last one is your tech list. Since we would like to manage our massive voice memo um, files, it's better to have your AI to do the data tagging for you, so you will be able to filter it out for the topics you care about. You can have a look at the tag list file. Uh, this is a basic default file here. You can change it to anything you want. Just ensure the format is similar. And your AI agent will learn from it and help you manage your voice memo notes. OK, now we have everything set up. We can run Cloud Code. Let's open up the terminal and drag it on your right-hand side, and uh, simply type cloud. All right, if this is your first time to initiate your cloud, um, you will be asked to uh, log in with your Cloud Code subscription or provide an API key. OK, if you don't know how to install Cloud Code, simply click the link down below in the description. Once you have the Cloud Code ready, uh, simply ask what skills you have. Let's check it out, see if the skills are successfully implemented. Before we round the skills, um, especially for any of you who don't have coding experience, just round this prep command. The Cloud Code will automatically check your computer environment to ensure everything is ready. It won't take long. Um, when the Cloud Code asks for your permission, just press yes. Right? Um, it will check all the relevant code and uh, your system uh, settings, once it is down, it will give you a report. OK, everything is ready. We can check Cloud's report. So the skill one, voice memo process, it, it, it pass the check. Um, API is ready, and uh, dry run, the uh, root is ready. And the second skill, the status is not available because it does not have any script. All right, good to go. What you suggest to do is to type clear to clean the memory. OK, help me process the last month voice memo. What agent will do is that it will look into your voice memo and uh, pick up the voice memos that were created in the last month. All right, it seems that our agent find five of them. If you look deeper, you will find out that this data were recorded in the database. So the next time when you ask your AI agent to check uh, the voice memo, it will know uh, which has been processed, which has not been processed. It makes the system work more smoother. All right, we simply tell your Cloud Code to proceed. Take a couple of minutes to complete. If we have a close look at the result, we have four success and one fail, because it has no content in it. OK, things is ready. We can check it out. Um, so it's in our Obsidian note folder. It will ask you, would you like to refine those raw text into Obsidian style notes? Well, you can simply say yes. 
or we can do the other way around. As I said, uh, you can choose to clean the memory and ask your AI agent to refine your Obsidian nodes, or you can compact the memory and uh, tell the agent refine my voice memos into the MD nodes. Okay, we have four in hands. Which one would you like to process? Okay, now you can ask your agent to process all of them, or you can select a specific uh, node to process. Say we got we got a specific target here. You can simply type refine and add the file to tell Cloud Code to do the job. Right, it won't take long. OK, the job is done. Since my original voice memo is in Chinese, they got me a Chinese version. I will tell my AI agent to refine it into an English version. Done. This is where sometimes you are not satisfied with your voice memo. You can always tell your AI agent to update the result, to do it again. No complaints. The result is pretty neat. We got a title, we got a date, we got a summary, we got a tag. It extracts the workflow we've discussed in the text trunk. Well, perfect for further review. Let's have a look at the result in our Obsidian. Well, it includes the note itself and note property. If you know how to use space, you can simply manage all of our voice notes with tags. You can add time and tags to manage all your voice memos and notes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.